I have been studying Neville Goddard's teachings for over six years now, and I am only now realizing what he actually meant when he said the feeling is the secret. So for the past six years of my life, I have been applying Neville's teachings, and it has worked wonders. But what I have realized looking back in retrospect is that I have unintentionally been doing this one thing that made it all happen. To this day, almost everything I wanted came through. As simple as it is, it's important to understand the logic behind the feeling is the secret. Our entire human experience is really about chasing feelings. When we initially fall in love with someone, we fall in love with them because they invoke this euphoric feeling inside of us. And this makes us feel like we are on top of the world and we can achieve anything. Similar thing happens with money, with cars and material stuff. It's not about the stuff itself. Feeling like if I have enough money, I will survive and be able to feel good and provide for my family. It's the fact they signify safety, security, abundance, a peace of mind, and an overall feeling of freedom. Without these feelings, money itself is worthless. It's just a symbol that means nothing. But to our mind, the money is tied to our survival. Money buys the feelings we are chasing, meaning things are just triggers that invoke feelings within us, and it has nothing to do with the things themselves. So if we know for a fact things can cause feelings, can feelings be a cause of things manifesting? This is explained with the law of reversibility, and it is backed by science in numerous occasions. What this law implies is that everything in life moves both ways. What science shows is that light can create heat, therefore the heat must create light. This law also explains how magnetism can create electricity, therefore the electricity must create magnetism. And we know this to be true. This is how the law of reversibility applies to measurable life phenomena. And in a similar way, this is how it applies to manifestation. If a certain thing or a condition outside of us can invoke a certain feeling inside of us, for example, if someone just gave you million dollars, these millions would now create feelings of security, abundance, well-being, comfort, and a peace of mind within you. So if you create the feelings of being rich and abundant beforehand, then by law of reversibility, they must create the conditions that match the feelings you have within. For example, if you love yourself, and they say self-love is tricky, but to me, someone that loves themselves is someone who finds the time to do the things they love. The fun stuff, like I am doing whenever I am creating these videos, sharing my experience and connecting with you guys. To me, that is self-love. For you, it may be creating art, writing, or taking a nice bath and spending some quality time with yourself taking the time to enjoy. But if you don't find time for yourself, and if you don't show love for yourself, then you won't be able to find love in the outside world. There is this quote by Neville Goddard that says a lot where he says, you cannot manifest what you want, you manifest what you are. So what you are is an amalgam, a bunch of feelings and thoughts. We are the consciousness of these thoughts and feelings. Meaning, if you don't have feelings of love within, the outside will reflect that lack you will constantly receive glimpses of feelings you cultivate within. If you have no feelings of abundance within you, there will be a constant struggle with your money situation. The law of reversibility is clear, and it states that what you don't have within, you will not see on the outside. The outside world is merely a reflection of your inner being. The outside is a mirror helping us to see where we are blocked in our inner world. So if you are feeling stuck, your outside reflection will show it. The outside world is forever mirroring who you are and what you are feeling within. According to the law of reversibility, if something is not in your current experience, but you can feel it to be by using your imagination, then you must have it in your life. Neville Goddard explains the imagination is the real reality. And by the act of imagination, we are setting the stage for our outside reflection. This is what awakened people do. And those who are not awake will complain and scream at the reflection, perpetuating the unwanted circumstances even further. And we have all been there. I used to react to the outside and get caught on ruminating on what I don't want. And every time, it just kept me stuck where I was until I realized, as within, so without. So for the past six years of my life, I have been applying Neville Goddard's teachings. And like I said, it has worked wonders. But what I realized looking back in retrospect is that I have unintentionally been doing this one thing that made it all happen. 
I have been feeling like I already have something and it would come true. A few years back, I felt stuck in my career. I was doing an accounting job that was so exhausting. At the end of the workday, I would feel no energy to tackle anything else, including spending time with my friends and family. But I needed the money so I can afford my rent. I was giving away all my time and energy just to make enough to survive. Needless to say, I had nowhere to go. So this one night, just before I went to sleep, I said to myself, what would it be like to do something that actually inspires me and helps me make great money? I had a figure in my mind, but no real hope. Still, I started imagining how it would feel. I figured it can't hurt. Little did I know that on this night, I opened myself up to a possibility of something like this entering my experience. For days after, I felt enthusiastic. Just the idea of the abundant life I had constructed in my imagination made me feel euphoric. My job was still exhausting, but this time I didn't allow it to put me down. I just kept imagining what my life would be like if my finances improved. A few weeks later, a friend calls me up and says, I have a great business idea for you, and I think you should do it. I took this as a sign and accepted her proposal. Within a month of work, I started making more money than the accounting business could pay me in six months. My mind was blown. I couldn't believe this was happening to me out of all people. And it was all happening so fast, I didn't even connect it to the night when I imagined having it all. Sometimes in the most impossible situations, the perfect conditions arise. Just this winter, I went skiing with my wife and we had a great time. We wanted to stay longer, but my wife had an important meeting the next day. So we decided to get back. On our way home, it was getting late, and as we were driving, all of a sudden we got caught in a heavy snowstorm. This was no ordinary snowstorm. There was so much snowfall, the car got stuck and was unable to go nowhere. Some of the local people approached us and started pushing the car to help it to move, but nothing worked. My wife was panicking, and everyone kept saying it will be impossible to get out. It's stuck and you will need to wait until tomorrow to call the road assistance. They pointed us to a nearby bed and breakfast to get by for the night. As I was giving up on it and thinking maybe they're right, all of a sudden I thought of Neville Goddard. I said to myself, I'm going to imagine myself driving the car out of the snow and feeling relieved. After I finished the vision in my mind, I then decided to start the car again and give it another try. As I stepped on the gas pedal, the car started to move and before I knew it, we were out of the snow, and I was able to drive us back home safely. I couldn't believe it, and even though I experienced so much already, it never ceases to amaze me. That night we slept in our bed, against all odds, relieved to be out of the blizzard. Just like I imagine. Imagine yourself being in a situation where all the odds are against you. People around you are telling you it's not possible, how it's not safe, and these are not just any people. These are locals who have seen these kinds of storms. The situation seems pretty impossible, right? I refuse to accept these conditions. I remembered the feeling is the secret. Because if I had allowed what is outside to be true, then it is projecting within, and I solidify that in my experience. I applied the law of reversibility, and I felt within me the feeling of safety and relief. I imagined seeing my car out of the deep snow. This created the feeling of security, freedom, and relief. In my mind, the car was already where I wanted it to be. And so it happened. How? The universe works in mysterious ways. All I know is that it happened thanks to two things. The feeling was already within me, and I refused to accept any conditions from the outside to convince me otherwise. My wife was sitting beside me, and she was clueless to what was going on. And it didn't matter, as long as she was now safe. It didn't matter that we were stuck in the most unbelievable circumstance. It doesn't really matter where you are and what circumstances you are in. Universe always has a way as long as you remember to show it what you want and believe it will come through. The same applies to abundance, love, health, and anything else you want in life. Even if you are in the poorest country in the world, you can have abundance. Neville said, even if you are in prison, if you feel yourself to be free in your mind, and imagine walking outside as a free man. By law of reversibility, you will be free. As you create the feeling of your wish fulfilled, you will inevitably have what you want. You can feel your destiny from the depths of your being. It is revealed through your deepest desires. And if there is one thing life taught me, 
it's that you cannot desire something that you aren't meant to have. Your destiny is paving its way through using your desires, waiting for you to dare and allow yourself to have it. Your imagination is the way you show universe what it is exactly that you want. Dare to desire and never forget, imagination is the real reality. It is indeed a well-kept secret, but not to you, only God knows why. This is all for now. In the next video, I will go into detail on the law of reversibility, and trust me, the information will make you believe in your desire and manifest it fast. To make sure you don't lose my channel, make sure to subscribe and like this video. Thank you for your precious time.